These are the Shamrock Surf's St. Patrick's Day Parade in Lumboyne in County Mead. They're going to be given out as free um, on Sunday, or the day before St. Patrick's Day, just to get in early. All right. My name is Eileen Duffy and I work for Joseph M. Duffy and Sons in the Corporation Fruit and Bed Market in the middle of uh, Dublin City. And we sell flowers, but we also, at St. Patrick's uh, time of the year, we sell shamrock. And we have a few shamrock growers that come into us every year and that supply us with shamrock. We sell it in a lot of different ways. It can come like this in a beautiful skillet, which you can use the skillet when the shamrock dies, you can use the skillet. It comes in individual little pots, which is very, very popular. But also, if you want to wear it on your lapel, it comes in these little bags and it's little pins. Very, very popular. And tourists absolutely love, especially American tourists, who we welcome to Ireland. Well, the Shamrock, how it came about was St. Patrick was in slavery in Ireland years ago and he was trying to convert the pagans because they were all druids and everything in Ireland years ago, high kings and druids. And he was trying to bring Christianity into Ireland. So he was explaining about the three divine persons and one, the Father, the Son, the Holy Ghost. And the best way to make an example of it was he put his hand in the ground and picked up the clove of shamrock. And as you can see, it has three little, you can see it better there in Eileen's skillet, it has three uh, leaves on one little stem and that's how he explained the three divine persons, the Father, the Son and the Holy Ghost. And some people actually, they do get confused because they sometimes think that clover oh, is shamrock, yeah. but clover is not. not. Clover has four leaves, shamrock, the true mm -hmm. shamrock has three leaves. Three leaves. But I remember it brings back loads of memories when I see the shamrock every year uh, to my dad. Some years he'd have a great crop and some years he wouldn't be happy with it. But the night before St. Patrick's Day, he'd take it out of the ground and he'd put it in water, uh, on a plate in water, hopefully that on St. Patrick's morning that it still would be alive because it actually, once it comes out of the ground, if there's no root on it and there's no clay, it actually dies very, very quickly. So, uh, and that's, a, that's just my memory of uh, Shamrock and St. Patrick's Day. Mm -hmm.